Breaking crypto news. The US SWIFT system is planning the launch of a new central bank digital currency platform in 12 to 24 months to connect the wave of central bank digital currencies now in development to the existing financial system. How big is the SWIFT network? Well, it's the global financial communication for more than 11,000 banks. The head of securities and digital asset strategy at SWIFT is holding a presentation on May 30th with the co-founder of Chainlink talking about how they're going to work together on a global system of on-chain finance for tokenized assets. Does not get bigger than this for any blockchain partnership. Here's another massive partnership though. Panasonic teams up with Jasmine to create controlled identity platform for Internet of Things. The partners will offer a decentralized data storage solution based on Jasmine's personal data locker. So Jasmine delivering with the massive partnership with Panasonic they were building in the crypto winter. So was the Anchor Protocol. Web3 infrastructure provider Anchor unveils neural blockchain for AI startups, offering access to DC centralized GPU resources, crypto-based crowdfunding, and on-chain AI operations. So now Anchor is a world computer AI asset. Let's take a look at what's going on with Polygon. Monthly active users on Polygon are closing in on 10 million. That's July 20, practically nothing. Here we are now at 10 million, massive for Polygon. And while all this is happening, we have the Bitcoin ETFs making Bitcoin scarcer and scarcer. This is the exchange balance on Coinbase of Bitcoin in yellow. In black, we see price. We are at levels not seen in the scarce supply of Bitcoin on Coinbase since 2015. That's how scarce Bitcoin has become and getting scarcer and scarcer and scarcer. So much going on in this space.